Hey guys, it is Arika Misha and today we are cooking meatball subs. Yes, quick and easy guys, quick and easy. Meatball subs. I have here, I have our Wonder White, uh, white Sub Bread. Wonder Bread. That's old school right there y'all. Wonder Bread is delicious. Alright, and I have the Mama Lucia Italian Style Meatballs. Oh, those meatballs are good. Look at all that. Oh, that's why I grabbed those. They look good. And I have my Kraft Philadelphia Creamy Milk Mozzarella. And I have some traditional Barilla spaghetti sauce. So, that is all you will need for our meatball subs. So, let's get to cooking. Okay, I am back and I put some butter in my pan to help cook my meatballs. I'm just going to pan fry them up. Well, you know, they're already cooked, so I'm just going to uh, pan grill them up real quick. And I wanted to show you guys this new butter I've been using. Smart Balance supports healthy cholesterol levels. And this is the original. And as you can see, it's got the omega-3 in it. So you guys know, I love that. I can't believe it's not butter. That's pretty much the only butter I use. But you know what? We've got to learn how to start trying new things. Don't be afraid to try something new. So, um, I saw this. Publix had it on sale. That was another reason I got it. <laughs> Y'all know. <laughs> had to be another thing, another reason why I got it. So, but, well, my, my butter is always on sale too. I can't believe it's not butter. But, um, this was on sale. And I said, you know what? Let me try something different. So, I got this Smart Balance Butter, guys. And you know what? It tastes great. It, it really does. It tastes great. So, all right. Let me put that away. Just wanted to show you guys that. And as you see, we've got our butter all nice and hot. Okay, calm down, butter. Calm down. So, let me cut this stove down a little bit. Let's get our meatballs in. Yeah. These should cook up real quick. We're just heating them up. And I did have them, they, they were in the freezer, so they were frozen. So I'm gonna cut my heat down a little bit. Get my fan on. Like I said, I'm just gonna toss them around in that butter, heat them up. That's all we doing. Heating them up. Let me zoom you guys in. Zoom you guys in. I'm not gonna make you guys sit here and watch me warm these up. I'll come back when they're almost finished, guys. Okay, so I've got my sausages all nice and brown. And as you can see, I cut a couple of them open just to check and make sure they were done inside. You, you definitely want to be uh, careful with your meatballs, especially since they were frozen. I wanted to make sure they were cooked all the way. So I just cut one or two open just to make sure the inside was nice and hot. So, now that we've got our meatballs all cooked up, I'm going to go ahead and add my barilla, my, my sauce. I'm just going to add a little bit at a time. I did cut my heat down. I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. Just going to add a little bit of sauce at a time. We don't like our meatball subs with too much sauce. So... Just adding a little bit of sauce at a time. And I like how the meatballs are small, the little small baby meatballs, instead of the big chunky ones, you know? These are easier to eat. So that looks good. I'm going to add a little bit more sauce. little bit of sauce and see how that looks. Alright, let's see. A little bit more sauce. I 
think I might add a little bit more sauce. Just a little bit more. Let me zoom you guys in so you can see. Yeah, I'm going to add a little bit more sauce. Make sure you guys can see good. Yeah, I think I'm going to add a little bit more sauce. A little bit more. Mm, I think I'll just go ahead and add the rest of this sauce. It was only half a jar anyway, so. Y'all know I got to put a little bit of water in my jar to get the rest of my sauce. Okay, and anytime I'm dealing with spaghetti sauce, I always add a little bit of sugar to get the little bit of sugar to get that steam from the tomato out. Little bit of sugar. That's about half a teaspoon of sugar for those of you needing measurements that's about um, half a teaspoon of sugar no actually uh, a full teaspoon full teaspoon of sugar because I I don't like this the the sting in the tomato and neither do the girls so I always add a little bit of sugar to give it a little you know, takes that that sting off of the tomato, takes that bite off. So, meatballs are looking really good. Looking really good. I think I'll give one a taste. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, those are so good. Hot, hot. All right, so you guys see our meatballs all done. And of course, the star of the show, as always, the star of the show, our parsley. Can't cook without it. Let's get our parsley in there. Yep. Oh, those meatballs taste so good. I like those Italian meatballs. They taste really good. They taste really good. All right, guys. So, you guys already seen me get the meatballs together. I'm going to go ahead and get the sub prep and show you guys how I'm going to uh, finish up the sandwich. I'll be back. Okay, guys. Wanted to come back and show you how I am prepping my meatball sub. I am going to put this in the air fryer to get everything all together and baked together. So, I took my sub bread, cut it straight down the middle across like this so that I can open it up. I'm going to use my, I can't believe it's not butter. It's the spray. You guys can see it's a spray. Just going to spray the inside so that my inside is all nice and buttery and soft. And I'm going to spray across the top of my bun. That's going to help it, you know, be all nice and soft and get all pretty and brown for you. All right, and let me get my meatballs in. Get our meatballs in there. Oh, yeah, that is looking real good. And you guys know what? The kids love this kind of stuff. They love it. Okay. All right. That's all the meatballs we can fit. I'm going to go ahead and put a little sauce across the top like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Put a little bit more sauce. I don't want to make it too saucy, but I do want to get some sauce in there. All right. And let's get our mozzarella cheese across the top. Oh yeah. 
I am putting a nice amount of cheese. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's going to be good. Ooh, yummy. Okay, let's move our cheese out of the way. And the star of the show, you guys know, my parsley. I refuse to cook without it. I refuse to cook without it. So, all right. Let me get my before picture for the gram. All right. You guys are seeing it here first. Let me get my before picture for the gram. I love doing before and after pictures. Uh, come on, let's focus a little better. I'm telling you, it's a lot of work going into getting the perfect shots. A lot of work goes into it. Gotta get the perfect shot for the ground. All about the lighting. Oh, sometimes I've got to chase the light. Okay. All right. That's good enough. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this in the air fryer. Move you guys over. Got my air fryer already over here. You guys know I've got my air fryer li lined with aluminum. Let's go ahead and get our meatball sub in there. We'll put it diagonal like that. And let's get it in the air fryer. Let's get it in there. It is going in. All right. Okay, Emerald. Let's go ahead, Emerald. I'm going to leave it at 370. I usually do. Just depends on what I'm cooking. I've got it at 370. But I'm only going to cook it for... I'm going to do three minutes. Because we just want it to get, you know, toasted. And we want that cheese to melt. That's all we want. We don't want to overdo it. So, all right. Emerald's cooking it up. I'll be back, guys, to show you the finishing results. Okay, I just took the meatball sub out of the air fryer and I actually wind up cooking it for four minutes in the air fryer. I'm taking you guys in. Look at that meatball sub. Oh, it looks amazing. Yes. You guys know what's under that cheese. It is the meatballs. Mm -mm -mm. All right, guys. You know I did it because you saw me do it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha, guys. Thank you. And don't forget, knowledge, it's power. Thanks, guys. Bye.